Well, good morning, everybody. So, I decided to get up early and try and find some spot to do a morning photo shoot, which is something that's rare. I don't normally get to do morning photo shoots. So, not really knowing this area all this all that well, I found this almost a sandbar sticking out here. Um, Alice Spit County Park is where I'm at right now. And it's low tide, so the sandbar is a little bit larger right now. The tides, uh, uh, we're past low tide, so it's coming in. And uh, we do have some clouds out here today. I was kind of hoping to maybe have Mount Rainier or Mount Baker visible, but I don't think either one's gonna be visible from this low vantage point. But looks like we're gonna have some great color in the sky this morning. So um, really can't see too much here to figure out a composition just quite yet. Uh, there's lots of uh, logs laying down here on the beach, just totally covered in frost. So I think I'll go ahead and just set the camera, uh, put it on the tripod, and then uh, we'll see what we can get as the light comes in and I can kind of see what's in this foreground here a little bit better. But right now I've got some beautiful color in the sky. So right now Venus is up. Uh, we got a little bit of the twilight on the clouds. Looks like we got I don't know if ducks or loons in the water right now. Like I said, I'm just trying to wait to see if I can come up with a composition. Um, right now I just have, looks like maybe some rocks. I really can't tell because it's still pretty dark out here. But got some great color on the water right now. I just had the drone up and uh, I was going to fly it over the rest of this little peninsula to see what's out there but saw there's at least two other people out here and both of them looked up so it means the drone was making a little bit too much noise so just kind of be respectful of other people who are out here trying to enjoy this peace and quiet I said yeah let's not fly the drone anymore today so color is just starting to hit the uh, underside of the clouds now and uh, all that's in front of me right now are essentially rocks and we're below the water line at high tide here and it's all covered in frost and there's some small barnacles down here on these rocks so I think I'm gonna move the camera over here where we got more frost coming out and see if I can use that as another element in my images. got a couple of elements working against me here in this focus stack. One thing it is bitter cold. I gotta to do this I'm gonna have to take my hands out of my gloves. Definitely need to get some photographer gloves. Got everything lined up. So a few things here. I'm gonna do some manual focusing. We're gonna start down on the rock. And by the way that's a uh, put in manual mode so I get my exposures. I'll be the same. There we go. All right, let's focus on the rock. So I'm gonna be focusing this first set on the uh, front of the rock closest to me.
Now again, I am doing bracketing right now because there's a lot of dynamic range. Don't know if I'm gonna use the bracketed images. I may just use the normal images from each set. Oh, definitely cold. Oh, if it wasn't for the distant noise of engines, it'd be a perfect morning though. All right, there's the first set. Now, I'm gonna zoom in on the back of the rock for this next set. Or I should say focus. There we go. Focus stacking takes a lot of patience in the field and a lot of time in Lightroom and Photoshop. The end result is an image that is crystal clear in both the foreground and the background. Click the link above to watch the video on my entire process of how I do my focus stacking. Well, I am absolutely loving being out here this morning. Definitely can see the uh, the tide slowly coming in here. Soon we're gonna have a looks like a brilliant sunrise over the the uh, hills and mountains here to our uh, east. Aha! There it is. Now that I've moved over here. I'm gonna go take a look, but Mount Baker just made an appearance. I'll move the camera around real quick. Just wanna give my wife a little shout out for reminding me to pack insulated underwear, help make this trip out here a little more tolerable, but I keep saying, that I'm going to get myself a pair of uh, heated photographer gloves and I never do. Um, I think it's time. Fingers are burning. Whew. We have sunrise. Now that the sun is up, I discovered a hoar frost on the driftwood. It is now a race against time. This frost will not last long, and I want to focus stack an image to capture as much of the blades of frost as possible before it melts. Well, everybody, that's about it for this morning. I need a nice, hot cup of coffee and a hot breakfast. And I'll uh, do a little processing of these images. Might head out for an evening sunset tonight. We'll see. But uh, appreciate you uh, tuning in. And appreciate if you'd also subscribe to this channel. And if you uh, would like to support this channel even further, check out patreon.com forward slash EWJ. That's where I put all of my bonus content. Y'all have a good day. And remember, never stop exploring.